So hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a new IoT project which is based upon Arduino IoT Cloud Platform and the ESP32 board. So like I wanted to explore the maximum capacity of the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. That means I wanted to connect maximum number of sensors to the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. So, so what I've done, I have created ultimate weather station project. That means here I am monitoring the five variables data or you can say five sensors data over the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform. So here I have used DST11 sensor. That means we can able to monitor the temperature and humidity. I have used rain sensor. I wanted to monitor the whether there is raining or not. I have used the LDR. That means I am monitoring the light intensity, noise level. For that I have used the sound sensor and the gas sensor for the air quality monitoring. So these many sensors I have combined together and connected it to the ESP32 board and created the ultimate weather station project. Let's just see how you can able to create the same project with me. So without wasting time, let's get started. So now we will see the circuit diagram of this project. So circuit diagram of this project plays a very important role. You need to pay attention that how I am going to connect all the sensors to the ESP32 board. So now in order to create the circuit diagram, I am using the Easy EDA platform, which is simple platform to create the PCBs and the schematic. Now here I have added all the sensors and the ESP32 board. As you can see on my screen, I have added light sensor, which is LDR. I have added the sound sensor. I have added the gas sensor, rain sensor, as well as the DST11 sensor. So now one by one, we will connect all the sensors to the ESP32 board. Now here I am only reading the analog data of the light sensor. So that's why I am using here the analog output pin. Now let's take the wire and connect it to the pin number 32. So now we will connect the ground and VCC common for every sensor. So as of now I am not connecting it. So first we will connect the analog outputs of the sensors. Okay. So let me connect the analog output of the sound sensor now. So sound sensor analog output, I have connected it to the pin number. Let me just see it. It's connected to the pin number 35. Okay. So let's connect it to the pin number 35. So I have connected the gas sensor to the analog pin 33 of the ESP32 board. So let's connect the AO to the 33. Okay. So range sensor analog output is connected to the pin number 34 of the ESP32 board. Now we have connected all the analog sensors. Now let's connect the DST11 sensor. Connect the data pin of the DST11 sensor to the digital pin 13 of the ESP32. So now we can connect the VCC of all the sensors to the V in pin of the ESP32 board. Now let's connect the VCC of light sensor. What I've done, I've made common VCC connection between all the sensors. Now I'll connect the this VCC point to the V in pin of the ESP32 board. Now you can see I made common connection between the VCC of every sensor. Now let's do the same. Let's make the common connection between ground of every sensor. Let's connect the ground. If you're feeling this like uh, so maybe you feel this complex but it's very simple just go step by step first connect the all the analog pins then connect vcc then connect ground it's very simple so i'll just connect the ground here as well and also i need to connect the ground I forgot one connection of vcc which is the dst11 we'll connect that as well first let me connect the ground Okay, now we made the common connection between the ground of every sensor. Now, let's connect the ground of ESP32 to the any ground wire here if you find. So, this is our ground wire. Uh, let me just see, this is our ground wire. Mm, yep, this is the ground. Let me connect it here. Now, it looks quite complex, but if you go step by step, it's very simple. Now, here I have mentioned that I forgot to connect the VCC of the DST11, let's connect the VCC of the DST11 to the VCC pin, common VCC pin. Here I can also connect it. Yep. 
so we have successfully created the circuit diagram so this is the schematic for this project so this is the ultimate weather station project so that's why the circuit is also very big so now we need to see the most important part of this project that is how to configure the arduino iot cloud now let's just see how to configure the arduino iot cloud platform once you successfully logged into your arduino iot cloud platform you will see different tabs on the arduino iot cloud platform first tab is things dashboard devices integrations and template now i have already created the video on arduino iot cloud platform that how to create the thing how to create the dashboard how to add a device and everything so if if you wanted to know each and everything in detail you have to watch my previous video i will mention the link in the i button as well as in the description box now first whenever you will sign in or sign up on the arduino iot cloud platform you need to create a thing so now let me go to the variables or you can say the thing which i have already created so let me go back so if you see here this is the thing which i have created okay now inside this thing you need to create the variables you need to add the variables you need to add a device and you need to add the network credentials okay so i am trying to build a a biggest iot project on the arduino iot cloud platform that means i wanted to add as many variables i can add in free version as possible so here i can only add up to 5 variables in free plan of the arduino iot cloud platform so here i have added air quality that means here i am using mq135 gas sensor i am using the ldr module which is light intensity also i wanted to monitor that whether there is rain or not so that's why i am using here the rain sensor and also i wanted to know the noise level or you can say the sound level so for that purpose i have created the variable name sound level and i have used here dst11 sensor so that's why i am able to monitor the temperature as well i wanted to monitor the humidity but as you know that in free plan i won't be able to monitor more than five variables so that's why i haven't added here humidity so if you don't have any any one of this sensor you can add the humidity variable here so in order to add the variable you just have to click on add variable and follow the basic steps which i have already mentioned in my previous tutorials okay now here i have created the device which is esp32 underscore 1194 also you have to make sure that you will get the security key of that device so you have to download the security key and keep it safe with you you need to enter this while adding the network credentials so network credentials are nothing but this is the password for your hotspot or you can say the router and the wi-fi ssid name and also one more thing you need to mention here is that is secret key of your device that is you just have downloaded so in order to create a thing you need to configure three things first add variables second add the device third add the network credentials so this is how you can add the thing in the arduino iot cloud platform okay now let's go to the dashboard so here i have already created one dashboard which is for home automation project and the another dashboard which is ultimate weather station dashboard which i have just created so i'll click on it now in order to add the widget you have to click on this edit icon let's click on this edit icon and click on the add option and if you wanted to add any variable just click on gauge and then con you can rename it like whatever you want whatever the thing you you can rename it based upon your application i'll write right here humidity and select the variable that you wanted to link here i don't have any variable for humidity that's why i do, that's why i don't create now i'll just click on done and i'll just delete it So this is how you can easily able to add all the widgets which are available inside the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. You just have to click on it and you have to configure that particular widget that you have added. So I have already added widgets. Here you can see light intensity widget, temperature, air quality, rain sensing and the one widget is for noise level. For noise level, I have added the chart as a widget. Okay. Now, if you wanted to arrange the widget, you can click on this arrange icon and you can just move this icon anywhere, wherever you like. 
and just click on done. Now Arduino IoT Cloud has its own Android application as well. So we can download that IoT remote app and on that app also you don't have to configure anything. You just have to log into your same account and if you click on this show mobile layout, the same thing will be visible on the Android application of Arduino IoT Cloud which is known as IoT Remote. So this is all about the dashboard that I have created. So let's come to the most important part of this project that is how to write code for the same. So let's go to the thing and click on your thing and if you see sketch, click on sketch and click on open full editor. Okay. Now once you click on open full editor, this will open the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform's cloud editor. That means you don't even need to open the Arduino app. You can directly program your ESP32 board right from the cloud itself. And also we can able to upload the code from cloud platform to, to the ESP32 board. So this feature of the Arduino IoT Cloud Platform I like the most. That means everything is integrated here on the platform itself. You don't even need to open the Arduino app in order to write the program. Okay. So one more thing I wanted to mention you here that you need to install the Arduino agent in order to upload the code from Arduino web editor to your board. So Arduino agent plays an important role connecting your ESP32 board to the cloud platform using the USB cable. So that's why I'm telling you, you need to download the Arduino agent. Also here is the small icon. You can see that Arduino agent is running. The variable which I have created inside the cloud platform is already declared here. You can see now the variable which we have declared. I'll show you that as well. Let me just show you setup here. You can see air quality, light intensity, rain sensing, sound level, temperature. These are the cloud variables. And if you open the code, these are already declared here. You can see now what I've done here. I have included the library for DST 11 sensor. As you know that DST 11 sensor need library in order to read the data from the DST 11 sensor. So now I have connected the DST 11 sensor to the pin number 13, as I've already mentioned you and the type of the DST 11 is basically DST 11 sensor that we are using. There are different types of DST sensors available in the market like DH22, DH11. So here I'm using DH11. So I have connected sound sensor to the pin number 35, light sensor to the pin number 32 and gas sensor to the pin number 33 and rain sensor to the pin number 34. So you need to define the pins of the sensors that you have used. Okay. Now here comes the very important part that is we have already defined the variables. We just need to pass the value into these variables. Now, how we are going to pass the values into these variables? Just pay attention. Your variables are already declared. You don't need to declare it once again. We just need to pass the sensor data to these variables. Now, let's just see how we are going to pass the data. Now, I have not done any changes inside this. This code is pre-written by the Arduino Way platform itself. Now let's just come inside the wide loop and let's see what are the changes I have done. Now the variable which is already declared, which is sound level, you can see. I'm just passing the values of sound sensor using this command analog read sound sensor. And we know that if we wanted to use the analog data given by the sensor, we need to use command called analog read. And sound sensor means the pin number of that sensor and we have already defined that you can see here it's very simple same with light sensor so i have i am using the same variables which is already defined you can see here and i am passing the value of the light intensity using analog read function i have done the same thing for air quality rain sensing passing the rain sensing data using the analog read read sensor as we know that the temperature data is stored in this command which is called dst dot read temperature opening closing bracket so this i can get from the library itself we know that it has the temperature data now i have defined one variable float variable which is temp 
and I'm storing the temperature data into this variable called temp. And now I am passing this temperature data into this variable temperature and which we have already defined. Below that I haven't done any changes. I've just keep everything as it is. It's very simple. So I hope you understand this line of code. Even if you don't understand the code, just mention inside the comment box. Now I have already uploaded the code in my board. And now we will see the output of this project on our IoT platform. Now let's go back to the dashboard and let's just see if we are getting the data or not. Let me go to the dashboard. And now you can see guys, the data on the screen. So I'm in real time, I'm uploading the data. So now let me just record the video and I'll show you the output. So here on the screen, you can see I have the rain sensor. So rain sensor also gives the data. So as of now, I don't have water here. If I can add the water, you will see the data here also. So this is your rain sensors. So this is your DST11 sensor. So now here you can see the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. And this is your light sensor. Let me put the finger on it. Now, if I put the finger on it, the data will increase. If I remove the finger, data will decrease. Now, this is your sound sensor. I can able to increase or decrease the sound. And this is the gas sensor, which giving us the data of air quality. So this is how we can create the ultimate weather station project using the Arduino IoT Cloud platform and the ESP32 board. So as you can see on my screen, as I'm speaking, the sound sensor noise level is going up and down. Also, you can see the light intensity. So here I can use the torch and I can just change the light intensity as well. I have the torch with me. Let me just increase the, as you can see, there is if the light is more, I'm getting the less value. So if you found this project useful for you, then do subscribe the channel, hit the like button and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.